Hey everybody, and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program RP0. We are out on the launch pad today with the uh, launch of our Project Mars, our latest and hopefully less futile attempt to land a lander on the surface of Mars. Uh, our inclination with the moon is about right, and so we're going to fire up this old RA-9 and start to get ourselves, hopefully, into a good orbit where we will then assess our uh, intercept trajectory. So uh, I will pick all of you up then. Oh, shit. We've had a booster failure, but uh, it was close enough to cut off to where I hope it won't affect things. Oh, shit. Well, that's not good. Oh, boy. Well, <laughs> at least there's a heat shield on top. Uh, I don't know how badly that's going to affect our drag. I'm hoping we're high enough in the atmosphere to where it won't really affect things too much, but that's... I don't know. The booster failure was not my fault, but it was close enough to the end of the uh, the booster cycle that hopefully that won't matter. But this was totally... I rested my thumb on the space bar quite accidentally and fired those fairings off just a bit too soon. Um, well, all we can do is see. I do have a backup uh lander craft built and ready to roll out to the launch pad so if uh, this ends up looking like it's probably not going to make it then we'll just go ahead and deploy that one what can I say all right let's uh, boot up our transfer stage we don't necessarily need to boot the lander we do need to target our antennas however Earth. Oh boy. And we can probably bring this down. Uh, my, my heading is off. Of course, my heading is off. Doing all the other things. 26, 25. That's about what we're going to be, right? Here. I should have done this already. Locked, locked. That's too much. Locked, locked. Dang it. Locked, locked. Oh, too many things happening all at once. Alright, well, we're gonna get back to just flying the damn rocket. Okay, uh, that's an orbit, 190 by 153. I kind of spaced out there for half a second on uh, killing these engines. Uh, we don't need that anymore, but a 0.22 relative inclination with the moon is really not that bad. Mars, we will set that as our target and then bring up MechJeb to uh, plan our maneuver node. Yep. Let's see if it'll bring up our pork chop section. Hmm. That doesn't even hit Mars, dude. Wow. Why is it. What the hell is going on, Mechjub? Nothing's going on, right? Let's turn our RCS system off. Okay. 
So how about as soon as possible? Create node, 3551, that seems oddly reasonable. Does not hit Mars. It's probably an inclination issue, isn't it? What is our relative inclination? 1.9 degree, that is not too bad. There we go. Lowest delta V. Departure in two years, how about ASAP? 3.8 kilometer per second. That is really not that bad. I think we will take that. Let's focus in here on Mars. That burn is in one hour's time. This is a collision course, which is perfect. I will take that. So, all right, let's uh, take it home and get ourselves set up for this burn. Oh no, cancel. Reset that one. Transmit, reset, reset, reset. We just had a contractor radio in stuff from Earth. It doesn't pay out very much, but totally worth the what little bit it'll give us for doing basically nothing. All right, and our antennas are on and functioning. Our solar panels are deployed. Let's go ahead and da uh, get ourselves around to this node. Which, of course, will be at night. No big deal. I don't know which one's me. That one. Way down there. Okay. And good. We'll be pretty much right over some comsat. Or <laughs> ground stations. I'm pretty sure we won't have a satellite overhead, but that's just me. Alright, we're going to start this burn five minutes in, because we will certainly have to stage in the middle of it. Risky stable. Oh man, how do we get down to three minutes? I really messed that up. There we go, we're lit. That's quite nice. That's a little better. Oh, wrong button. Dang it. That's what I was trying to do. That might be our winner today. We'll see. Very interesting. We're about half a meter a second away and missing Mars. Alright, well, uh, it looks like there's an encounter. Let's see how much fine tuning we can do just here oh, okay I have run the tanks dry well the primary tanks I still have these little guys here all four of them on the outskirts alright let's, let's kill the rotation and then kill the RCS for the time being I will be transferring a bunch of fuel around, and then we're going to try to get this without a correction burn, because I really hate doing correction burn videos. <laughs> well, let's just be honest. So, yeah, I know fuel transfer videos are way more entertaining, aren't they? Yes. Alright, get rid of these two. Keep you up. Oh, you're the empty one, so the antenna ones are now the full ones. Ah, 
peg. Pin. Pin. In. In. See, I made a song. All right. Um, well, I'm sitting here dawdling. That is n certainly not the encounter I would like. So we're going to have to switch back over here. And try to do this uh, as soon as possible. That is in, what, two minutes? Let's see how much I can accomplish in two minutes. All right, wow, that's much better. I think just by slowing down a bit, maybe I got a little overzealous, so it looks like we're a bit over the top, so let's correct that down. Yeah, let's try to come in as a clean, oh, wrong way, oh! way wrong way. I should be using Maneuver Node Editor for this, I know. I'm just not that patient. Uh, okay. Now it's become ridiculous. Wow, mouse wheel, come on. There, we're gonna shoot for that. RCS back on. Get ourselves turned over towards our node. Nine meters per second and no correction burn. This could be absolutely amazing. All right. Not going to waste an ignition for nine meters per second. And the fact that I will most certainly screw it up. So we're just going to sit here and rely on the thrusters until we can see our trajectory actual coming in here. Come on, little guy. Here it comes. I guess I don't really need the delta V stats up anymore either. 2.2. Come on. All right, RCS off. Locked it in. Uh, that is a collision course, but that shouldn't be too bad of a correction if we can do that uh, just as we hit Mars SOI. Add that maneuver. That's We want it to be right at about 40 some odd kilometers. Oh yeah. We're looking at about uh, 3 meters per second total correction on that. Perfect. Yes! Something is going very right for this uh, spacecraft. I should probably transfer the rest of the fuel into the uh, core stage so we have it all available to us. Oh, stop. No. Pin U. You know what? We'll just, okay. We'll just do this. Now you can go away, and now we can dump our two lateral tanks into our primary just to have all of our fuel available to us because... I would like to get uh, some estimation of our total available delta V. All right, so that's that stage. And then there's our force separation in slash deorbit deceleration engines. That stages that off. It turns on the thrusters that are already on. And then our six landing engines and control thrusters and our parachute. Perfect. Okay. We can. Put all of those away. What's our total delta V? 1900 meters per second just in our transfer stage. All the fuels up here are obviously locked for very good reason because otherwise they'd be spent by now I'm sure and I would forget about them. So let's uh let's just watch this little guy fly away. That might be the image I'm kind of looking for. It's always nice to get a good beauty image. Although, man, that sun is all up in my business. And here we go. Project Mars is on its way, and this mission's looking good. So, really, the uh, getting to Mars is no longer the hard part, as it was way earlier on in this series when I missed Mars. 
more times than I'd really care to recount. But landing is now the hard part. So I'm hoping this little guy has enough thrust in him to uh, counteract his fall without too much aid from that parachute. But we will see uh, all of that in the near future. So uh, thanks for hanging out, everybody. I really appreciate it. That's going to do it for this episode. And I will see all of you in the next one. Until then, see you later.